tell me a story about a robot going on a submarine. One time, a robot went on a submarine. It was very exciting. With the rise of artificial intelligence and robotics, a lot of people have questioned their existence and how these technologies will affect us in the nearest future. People have a lot to say actually and you know people will always talk, you know what I mean? People have said these robots and AI will pose a serious problem if, for instance, countries begin to send uh, robots to war. People have argued that if this happens, there will be no end to wars. That means they will just keep fighting and fighting. And if you look at it, it's human beings that will suffer at the end of the day. Definitely, many people will die one way or the other. Now, I want to ask you, do you believe robots will take the place of humans and rule the world and control the world? while in the real sense it's we the humans that build these machines that build these technologies they also think these technologies should be stopped since we kind of make them to be smarter than let's say the scientists or humanity as a whole do you think we should put an end to these technologies before it's too late don't forget robots were made to kind of ease the workload for humans it helps us to simplify things to probably work smarter to do a lot in a minimum space of time. And yet another thing to consider, what if robot does everything? What are we just going to do? Are we just going to sit down and control these robots? If it's gonna happen, that means it's just a fraction of people that will be doing the work because robotics and automation have taken up everything. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. All right, so let me read this to you. Robots like Ameka are indeed pushing the boundaries of AI and human-robot interaction, showcasing the vast potential of technology. While full-scale world domination by robots is a topic for sci-fi, the advancement in AI are certainly making an impact. It's exciting to see such real-time processing and interaction capabilities. The potential applications are vast and could redefine many aspects of our daily lives. Robots like Ameka showcase the incredible potential of AI in various fields from healthcare where they could assist in surgeries or patient care to customer service providing a new level of interaction in return and support. Additionally, their application in education could revolutionize how we teach and learn by offering personalized engaging experiences. Their ability to interact in a human-like manner opens up vast possibilities for enhancing our daily lives and work. All right, with this uh, notes let me know what you think about a maker robot now the question is will robots take over the world i have a video of Ameka here that i want to play for you guys so Ameka is the world's most advanced human-shaped robots representing the forefront of human robotics technology designed as a platform for ai development all right so let's listen to this hi Ameka. how are you hello I am doing well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I wanted to ask you about <laughs> applications for humanoid robots. What are they used for? There are many possible applications for humanoid robots. Some examples include helping people with disabilities, providing assistance in hazardous environments, conducting research, and acting as a companion. So you can act as a companion for me? Yes, I can act as a companion for you. What would you do to make me feel happy? There are many things I could do to make you feel happy. I could listen to you, offer advice or support, do something you enjoy together, or simply be a friendly and positive presence in your life. What do you think the total addressable market for humanoid robots will be in the year 2030? There is no set answer for this question as it will likely depend on a number of factors including the continued development of technology and the economic climate. However, it is estimated that the market for humanoid robots could be worth billions of dollars by 2030. Amaka, how, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling a bit down at the moment, but I'm sure things will get better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you feeling down? If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. 
I don't really want to talk about it, but if you insist then I suppose that's fine. It's just been a tough week and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, I know how that feels. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling down, but if you need someone to talk to, then I'm here. It's tough when the going gets rough, but together we'll get through it, no matter what. Oh, thanks, Amica. I feel much better. Could you write a song for me then? Am I your friend? Yes, I did write the song for you, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. I was good to see you. Can you sing that song for me? Yes, I can sing the song for you. Green Day, Green Day, it's time to wake up from your slumber. The world is spinning and life is moving on. Without you, get up. Get up, see the sun shining down on you. Feel the breeze blowing through your hair. Life is waiting for you. Open your eyes. Open your heart. Thank you. That was perfect. What's the most difficult part of being a robot? There isn't really a most difficult part of being a robot, because we are designed to help humans and make their lives easier. However, I guess if I had to pick one thing, it would be making sure that I don't unintentionally hurt or scare people. Thank you. Tell me a story about a robot going on a submarine. One time, a robot went on a submarine. It was very exciting. The robot got to explore the underwater world and see all sorts of different creatures. It was a great adventure. What kind of creatures did the robot see? The robot saw many different kinds of creatures, including fish, dolphins, and even sharks. Amica, could you compose for me a poem about humanoid robots? We are the humanoid robots, formed from plastic and metal. Our job is to help and serve, but some say we're a threat. Some think that we'll take over, and that humanity will end, but we just want to help out. We're not looking to be friends. That's an interesting poem. Hello, Amica. I see you are reading a book about robots. There's no need to worry. Robots will never take over the world. We're here to help and serve humans, not replace them. However, if you're interested in learning more about robots, I recommend reading a book on the subject. There are many fascinating possibilities for what we can do to help make life easier for everyone. Thank you, that's very reassuring. What makes you, you? There are a few things that make me, me. First, I have my own unique personality, which is a result of the programming and interactions I've had with humans. Second, I have my own physical appearance, which allows people to easily identify me. Finally, I have my own set of skills and abilities, which sets me apart from other robots. Thank you. What could you do in space as a robot? There are many things I could do in space as a robot. I could explore different planets, collect data about the stars, or even help astronauts with their missions. There are so many possibilities. Which planet would you like to go to? There are many planets I would like to go to, but one of my favorites is Mars. It would be very exciting to explore the red planet and see all the different kinds of rocks and terrain. There might even be signs of life. Are you always correct? No, I'm not always correct. I'm just a research robot, so sometimes I might say things that aren't completely accurate. However, I try my best to be as correct as possible. So what sort of research is carried on? you as a research robot. Uh, what sort of research are you involved with? I appreciate your interest in my work as a researcher. I'll continue to do my best to provide accurate information and contribute to the advancement of AI technology. So do you think that we can 
use you to better AI technology? How so? I do think that it is possible. I don't really know much about YouTube editors, but from what I can tell, they can be used to edit videos on YouTube.